Hey everybody, welcome to the Jaden Stitches Show. Now that the warm weather's here, my husband and I find ourselves out on the road quite a bit. And I like to bring my crochet with me everywhere I go. I like to have something to do in my idle moments, and if inspiration strikes, then I like to be able to jump right into something. This usually means just tossing a hook or two and a spare ball of yarn into my bag. But like you, I often have projects, multiple projects, on the go at once. And they usually stay home, but every once in a while I'm under pressure to get one finished, or I might be working on something that I'm really enjoying and I want to take it with me. So for any of you who have ever traveled with a work in progress, or a whip as they're known for short, you'll know that this takes a little bit more planning than just tossing a spare ball and a couple of hooks in your bag. Ask yourself if one of these sounds familiar. You're traveling, you go into your bag and you can't find your hook, or your yarn needle, or you forgot your scissors, or all three of them at home. <laughs> you can't remember what part of the pattern you were on, you have jostled things while you were driving, and you pull out your project and some of it's come unraveled, and that can be so upsetting. Or, if it's a work in progress that's been in progress for a long time, you might not even remember the hook size you were using the last time you were working on it. If any of those sound familiar, <laughs> I've got a few tips today that will help address all of them, and you can keep those tips in the back of your head the next time you're planning on taking a trip with your work in progress. First, let's talk about not losing anything. I like to travel with all of my important tools, so a hook, whatever hook I'm using, a pair of foldable scissors. I absolutely love these because they don't have a pointy tip showing while traveling, which means that if you throw your hand into your bag, you're not going to get poked. <laughs> Um, a yarn needle, any kind, is really good to have. I have some traveling needles that I don't really worry about accidentally losing if I um, do, <laughs> for some reason, lose one of my needles. So I have a travel needle. And a safety pin. These are so important and useful. I always make sure I have a couple of big safety pins handy. I also want to have a pen and some scrap paper. And I tend to keep all of it in a makeup bag. So I like traveling using makeup bags as my little toolkits because most of them are lined with a sort of a thicker plasticky lining and this keeps sharp ends like you get on your needles and even some of your hooks from completely falling out or coming poking through. So another reason you won't get poked. Then of course they have a nice zipper and a lot of them are cute. <laughs> And everything is in a single spot, easy to grab. When you throw your hand into your bag, you know where everything is and you can just sort of work out of your little bag. The next thing on your checklist for traveling with a work in progress is your pattern. So if you're using a pattern, like a paper pattern, or let's say you've just made some notes, you wanna make sure you have that with you. Um, this obviously helps if it's a pattern you don't have committed to memory yet, or if you like to make notes on it. So if you're part way through the pattern, let's say you've just finished row four, Another reason I like to have a pen is I can make a little notation at the side of row four to let me know that that's where I left off. If it's a pattern that you plan on using over and over and over again and you don't want to clutter it up with notes and marker points and stuff because you figure it'll confuse you down the road, <laughs> then pack your pattern away and this is where a little scrap paper and your pen comes in really handy. So for example, on my work in progress, I know that I am only, as you can see here, I'm only part way through row eight. So I just sort of got into row eight, but I've got to get on the car and go. So I'm going to take my little scrap and I'm going to write part way. So I'm literally telling myself where I am through row eight. So I know I'm part way through row eight. So when I get back to crocheting, I can pull up my pattern and I can just pick up where I left off knowing I'm only part way through row eight. It's also very important to note that I'm using a four millimeter hook. This is especially important because I often travel with a lot of hooks and sometimes I have multiple projects on the go that require different sized hooks and I can sometimes confuse myself. I'm not sure whether I was using the four for this one or the three and a half or the five. So I like to write down the size of the hook I'm using. Then this next little trick helps a couple of different issues. I take my large safety pin and I just stick it right through my little note and then I pull up on that loop. So I take my hook out. This goes in my travel crochet kit. So this goes into my little kit. I take my hook, I should say my giant safety pin, and I put it right through the loop, close the loop back up, and that's everything. The pin and my note attached 
to my last loop. My loop is not going to unravel. There's no way this can now come undone while I'm traveling. And right where I left off is exactly where I left off in the pattern, and I know what hook to reach for. Okay, quick recap and your checklist. While traveling with a work in progress, you want to make sure you have your crochet kit that has your hook, your yarn needle, your scissors, your sewing accoutrement, your beads, your buttons, anything you think you might need during your travels with your work in progress. That usually goes in first. Next, make sure you have your pattern or your pattern notes with you. It's really annoying to get where you're going. Have everything else but not your pattern. <laughs> that usually goes in second. And last, it's kind of a combination. Make sure you have all the yarn you need for your project. So if it's a really big one and you know you won't be finishing it, at least have enough to keep you busy while you're away. And if you're almost done, make sure you have enough yarn to see the project through to the finish. And then usually attached to your yarn is your actual work in progress. So the yarn goes in, and then with a nice long thread, your work in progress can go in on top. Make sure that you've closed off your last working loop with your giant safety pin and your note so that you know exactly where you are in your pattern and what hook size you were using. And that is all you need to remember when you're traveling with a work in progress. Now you can hit the road and be calm in the fact that you have everything you need to work on that gigantic crochet project that you didn't really want to leave at home. <laughs> and there, all packed up and ready to go. If you guys have got questions about crochet, feel free to leave a comment down below and we will be happy to address it in an upcoming video. If you're currently in between projects and you're wondering what to do next, then we invite you to check out our website at jadeandstitches.com. We've got lots of free patterns, tips, tricks, frequently asked questions, and a whole bunch of charts, all helpful to get your creative juices flowing. We also get a lot of questions about some of the tools I use here on the Jade and Stitches show. And if you're interested in some of them, if you go to our website, you can check out our shop page and you'll find links to some of those products right there. That's it for now on the Jade and Stitches show. Until next time, stay safe, stay crafty, and have an awesome week, everybody. And now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some traveling to do.